I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes to us from Steve, who wants to know just how my stories might have changed had I lived to see the advent of nuclear weapons. Now, it's always hard for me to speak to hypotheticals. I have no idea how it might have impacted my writing. I mean, for one thing, had I lived long enough to, to see these, these great and terrible weapons, I also would have lived long enough to see the Second World War, the start of the Cold War, perhaps even our beginning to step foot into space, all of which would have had great impact on my view of humanity and of the cosmos. But as to these weapons themselves, I, I think there's a few things that might have happened. I, I might have been convinced that perhaps mankind is not so small and insignificant after all, and we possess the ability to sterilize all life on a planet, what other horrors might we be capable of? But ultimately, the worst we can do is destroy this one small soap bubble of a planet. And while that would be inconvenient to many, the rest of the universe would spin on barely aware. Luckily, I don't have to do this work. Others have done it for me. Uh, of course, there's Charlie Strauss's A Colder War, which does a remarkable job marrying my mythos to the tale of, of escalation and brinksmanship. And then, of course, there's uh, August Derleth, um, who, who blew up one of my monsters with nuclear weapons for reasons that are entirely his own. But what has me most concerned is that for half a century the world lay in fear of these weapons going off, unsure just what game governments were playing as international brinkmanship led us further and further to the edge, and then sanity seemed to prevail. For a while, everyone seemed to agree to put these weapons to sleep and to hope they would never be used for them again. But now there are stirrings and rumblings and government flirting with bringing these great and terrible weapons back online, finding uses for them. I don't know how it's all going to play out, but regardless, we'll meet again. Don't know how, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.